Okay, so this is a new uh, big update for Thoth search. Um, one of the biggest things you'll see is that there's a whole new theme update based on feedback from a UI expert. I'm switching over to using Material UI, a Material Design 3 standards, which makes it a lot more colorful and um, responsive and animated. Um, apart from that, there are a lot of updates with um, showing showcasing justifications and stack uh, the stack info that comes from an advice. So we can go look at that now. One. So first, you can see there's a new navigation drawer instead of the tab bar at the top. This will eventually these these cards in this summary will eventually be replaced by um, what to do or high like high impact things on your environment. And these bits will be broken up and moved into these grayed out tabs in later updates. Um, for now, for this current sprint, they were just left here. Um, so a lot of the tabs were moved over to this drawer. Summary is the same, justifications also the same. Um, compare screen, but now the logs have been moved to their own screen, so you can see the logs. Um, justifications, what's new here is that you can see how many warnings each package has, a little bit more info about each one. When you press on it, you get a little bit more organized justification screen. You have um, quick links to different uh, Different parts of the package. You can also press on this link, which will take you to the package itself um, inside Thought Search, the internal link. Um, then security scorecards are split into their own card. So you can see each type of scorecard information. And then you can see if this one did not pass, it's a high risk. And here's the reason and some tags. You can see that for each one. Um, then you can see any other kinds of justifications, like it's popular on GitHub, or if there's any information or warnings addressed with it. And this dependency graph is the same as before. Uh, so that's justifications. Stack info, this is another new one. So previously, stack info wasn't really that visible. So now it's split into cards. You can see environment parameters, they're grouped together, solver rules. This, if there's more than one solver rule, this will be displayed and see what the rule is and what it's taking away. Installation errors, you can look at installation errors and what versions of packages had errors. And then any other stack info is just placed in this giant card, which might be fixed later instead of being just a giant list, but it is a little bit grouped by recommended actions and other information just based on if the text is saying that you should do this. Like use is a keyword that groups it into those recommended actions. And they all have links if you want to view more information about them. Some of them don't work, but that's fine. Um, installation errors, yeah. So that's that. In the future, there will be more um, cards in here based on like splitting this into more pieces. And summary page will also have cards that take all the justifications and stack info and combine all the important ones in here. Yes, is there any questions about it? No, not a question, but um, the, uh, the scorecard related uh, justifications feel like something we can we cannot aggregate on the stock level, uh, stack level, right? So, so we cannot put it on the summary. Is that is that correct? We can't aggregate what? Can we can we ag aggregate all the scorecard related justifications into a stack info so that it shows up on the summary page? Yeah. So th that's one of the things that would end up here. It would probably say like, oh, you have this many packages that are. Um, under this score because they all add up to a score out of 10. 
Um, yes. Or you could do other kind of aggregations like this is your average score or these are your low scores, these are your high scores, stuff like that. Those will all end up on summary. That just wasn't part of the current um, sprint. Yes, got it, thanks. And um, it is eating up a little bit screen estate. That is because you have zoomed into the page, right? Um, zoomed in? Yeah, like um, zoomed in in your browser window. It feels like um, it is consuming a lot of space on the screen itself. The scorecard? No, everything, the whole UI. Mm. Um, it, I, I can. What specifically about it seems zoomed in? Just the... Everything. Um, if, if you're going to look, yeah. yeah. But uh, let me have a look at this on my screen. Um, yeah, good. this is on a laptop screen, so it's a little bit of a smaller screen. Yeah. If yeah. You, here, I'll drop a link and you guys can see it on your screen too. Um, but yeah, it does adjust to different screens. If it is a smaller screen, you can, it will kind of move around and try to look better, but that's, that isn't really fleshed out right now for smaller screens. But yeah, if there's uh, any concerns with the sizing and everything, I can look in and do another revision on it. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, any, any other questions, comments? I have a question about the. I mean, I like I like how it looks, uh, but it's more about. Um, it seems to be slightly different uh, to the uh, general thought website. I was wondering if there are plans to make it more like this. This advice from the uh, UX experts, like the color schemes or whatever make them more consistent with? Yeah, so um, what's set up right now is I can give it any color and it will adapt to that color. Um, right now I just picked a orange, but I can go in and kind of customize it more if these colors need to be a little bit more Thoth type. Um, if there was a Thoth color scheme I could go off of, right now I'm just going off of one color that I see on the web page. Um, so it's it's hard to kind of pick secondary and um, other colors based on just one color. So I mean that's what it's doing now. It's picking secondary, um, secondary, primary, other different types of colors based on the one color. So I don't think there's an overall arching Thoth color scheme right now, which is why I'm just kind of guessing. But I can try to make that primary color, more primary inside this. Make or maybe the image. other way around. I mean, if there is no other, just, you know, just saying, thinking that would be cool if everything looked more or less consistent across. Uh, yeah, I can look into kind of extracting some colors that are on the main page and keep them in here. Because I know yeah, there are some other colors that are used that I could put in here instead of using sort of like these muted ones. So we push that to the uh, search website, so from stage to prod again. If yeah, I can I can push it to. I wanted to demo it first before I pushed it to prod, but yeah, yeah. That, that's fair. But uh, it feels like uh, very good improvements, especially um, to consume that. Still, pretty large stack of information um, is a little bit easier now. So it feels to me like, yeah, that, let's push it. Okay. Cool, nice. Other uh, comments, questions? Thanks, Gage.